Hello people, I forgot to test creations here. Today's video is Peyote Stitch. Right now I'm doing it on Adele with some fringe at the bottom with the uh, chamois goat skin wrap around Adele. So let me show you the process in which I done I done did this. Well, the process of how I did this. First thing you need is obviously a dowel or something to wrap leather or whatever fabric you want to put around it. Vinyl, buckskin, goatskin, chamois, just something to help secure the beads or bring it tight down. The beads has one to grip into. So what I'm going to do is get that fabric, which mine is this. Like I said, it's goatskin. I do have leather for this, but since I'm not doing a really big fancy project. This is just for example. We'll just go with this. It's easy to away throw away piece and it's not too much. So the many ways you can do this is either as I've seen many times is you get a big enough piece and you just wrap it around, measure, and find a gap here and mark it, and then strike a line, cut that to the shape you need, add some glue bring it together and then add some glue because this stretch is pretty good you can stretch the seam close and glue it in sew the seam together and call it good or just hold the seam together and wrap it with something so it stays shut you can either, either leave some fringe on it or you can have it cut to the exact size you need or have it short so only a piece of show and you have to just the end showing of the material underneath. But once you get your dowel cut and you're gonna have a ugly end of having all your saw marks or whatever you use to cut the piece. So what you're gonna get is sandpaper. I have 220 or 320 sandpaper. As you can see, I already gone through, sanded it flat and smooth, and I even got here. Is around the corners so you should look something like that smooth there's a little divot in it but it's okay compared to this part where it just looks like someone hacked into it and if you're trying to do a nice piece you don't want to be showing people your the stick with that kind of end on it so do the top do it to the bottom lightly sand and do that but this is an example, so once you get that done, apply your material, whatever fabric you're using, to here. Add glue. I use E6000 glue for what I, oops, I use E6000 glue for what I do. Just open it, apply glue to both sides, or all around. What you can do too is mark it down the bottom so then you don't apply glue too far down or just above it, top, bottom. Put it here, wrap it around, stretch it to where you need, even sew to the seam so then it holds a little tighter. Let the glue dry and then you'll have a piece like this. The way I did earlier, as you can see, I sent it the top down so it's nice, even the inside. I sand it. So, even though there's a glue here, it's not really, not too many people are going to be looking at the bottom. So, it doesn't really matter. It's the top. If it does, just cut it down and re sand it, make it look pretty. Or you can even run the beads over and hide that. So, once you have that done, and you have your fringe cut out, you mean, like I'm doing here, I left it long. I had this cut out of taper at the end like that and I had to cut only have three pieces of fringe on it I can cut again have six so you can have as many as you want at least as, as less as you want or you can even just put like rope on the bottom and have two pieces come out it's all up to you it's your personal preference I'm not gonna say you're wrong you're right because everybody does their keychain different or whatever they're beating on differently but this is what I do and this is how I do it so, 
let's get down to the actual beating.